Yeah, I got to get to work real quick. I got things to do today, but I want to show you one more demonstration. Now I'm going to be doing a lot of demonstrations on how much ambient light actually hits these screens. Um, like I said, in these demonstrations, you will not see other people doing the same things as we do. Like I said, I, to give you that challenge, you go look around the internet to see how many people are doing the exact same demonstrations that we are. Now keep in mind, my screen is actually in the window. It's not sitting on the floor next to the window. And one of the things you can see too is, okay, take it my uh, silver screen. This is my, uh, not silver, this is my Platinum Slate uh, Nano. It is a 235.178 inch. Uh, screen now keep in mind uh, when people do smaller screens like little small sample sheets uh, that sample sheet can actually be can hide away from the light because this say this is my sample sheet right my small sample sheet which it is I could put it over here and the window light will miss it it will come in and it'll miss it because of the size of the screen these are things we pick up so it'll miss it because of the size of the screen because it's directly in the window it's going to be hit with all this ambient light now the big screen I have right here this screen is a five feet high and around almost close to around 14 feet wide it can't miss any of the ambient light coming in even if it's just in that corner right here all this light is going to hit the screen all the way down that's the difference between we do demonstrations on larger screens uh, versus people who do demonstrations on smaller screens because the smaller screen can tuck in there and hide in there quite nice and when the light comes in it'll bypass it unless it's you know in direct line. Also too I want to show you in the demonstration we don't have any curtains that are blocking any of the ambient light hitting the screen so you can see how much ambient light, how much physical ambient light is hitting the screen. Now we'll throw on the condensed lighting which I have over here it's hitting our um, Platinum Slate Nano. And as I said before, you know, we do demonstrations that nobody else would do on the internet. This is what separates our technology from everybody else. All right, so let's show you the measuring tape is here. I'm going to come over here and show you that my projector is sitting around 12 feet. 12 feet from the screen, 13 if you count the silver one. All right, we're using our long throw projector. And let's begin to show you exactly uh, the technology on um, what our screens can do. And keep in mind that the um, invisible nano is right in the window. So it's not escaping any ambient light whatsoever. Now these are the kind of demonstrations we do. We have some people who want to be on our level and it's virtually impossible to be on our level if you're not going to be doing the same demonstrations that we do. As you can see my screens do not hide from any form of ambient light whatsoever. Now I push my projector as far as I could over near the window. So that way the, um, the Eclipse uh, Invisible Nano would be hit with a ton of ambient light and also to the larger screen. And it's the same screen you've seen downstairs getting hit with all that ambient light surrounded around it. This is the um, this is why we put our screens through such vigorous testing so they can do this in a four lit environment at 13, at 12 to 13 feet back. And my blinds are fully open. Just want you to see this real quick. Blinds are fully open. You can see objects on the other end. There's plenty of light cascading through that window. All right, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Witch Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Thank you all for watching.